So, you're out in the backwoods and you find yourself stranded or lost. Or maybe you just want to hunt some small game while you're out fishing, hunting, hiking, or whatever else you happen to be doing that day. The answer you're looking for is called passive hunting. And there are many different ways of doing this, but what I'm going to show you today is a technique, the simplest, easiest technique of passive hunting, which is called snaring. There are several different types of snares, and we'll go over two of them today in this video. The simplest technique for snaring, as well as the one that I have the most personal experience and success with, is called static snaring. So what you're going to want to do is just take a length of wire, uh, usually about 20 or 22 gauge, and you're just going to wrap it like this, and then take the end and just run it around a few times. And then, once you've found a trail, and you can usually see a trail that the rabbits are using because it'll be more worn and the uh, grass will be shorter. Or, if you're lucky like me and you have happen to live in, in a place where there's snow in the winter time, uh, there's going to be very, very distinct runs. Like, it'll just be a straight line about three or four inches deep in the snow that you can see they're using frequently. So what you're going to want to do is find one of those runs and find a tree or you can just uh, sharpen a stake and stick it in the ground and you're just going to wrap the other end of your snare around the tree. Now what you want to do is leave the snare in the middle of the trail and leave it about a fist off the ground and a little wider than a fist in diameter. So you can see what's going to happen here is the rabbit or the squirrel or whatever animal you happen to be trapping is going to come running along the trail. Their head's going to be small enough to make it through the loop, but their neck isn't. So as they run through, it's just going to tighten around the neck just like that. And always make sure that once you leave the area, you go back to all your snares because you're going to want to set a lot. Snaring is an absolute number game but make sure you always go back and take them all out of the bush with you. Anything you bring in has to come out with you. Now, the second kind of snare we're going to be showing today is called a spring snare or a dynamic snare. And the reason for that is when the animal runs through, it pulls on a trigger that you've made. So you're basically going to find two pieces of wood shaped like this or, you know, any kind of, any kind of piece you can carve into a shape that's going to lock under tension and uh, when the animal comes through they're going to pull on the snare and the trigger is going to release and either a bent sapling or a rock that you've hung in a tree or whatever uh, whatever force you happen to be using is going to release and pull the animal the trigger and everything up into the air with it so I'll show you how to set that up so you can see I've got the snare set up here and it's just tied to the end of this young tree which is bent over and that's what we're using as our uh, weight. So you can see the cord here comes right down to the trigger of the snare and then the snare is just in the middle of the path there. It's fairly small so it's probably not showing up on the camera and basically the idea, imagine this stick here is a rabbit and the rabbit comes running along the trail pulls the snare and It tightens. So today was just a day to do a neat demo, get some stuff sorted out, and uh, get the channel started up. I've got a lot of neat trips coming up, and once the channel's going, I'm going to have all sorts of neat bushcraft and camping videos up there for you guys. So stay tuned.